that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you in the picture on the computer screen, um, I have about twice the definition in my eye using the microscope than what you're going to see on the screen. But I would be able to go around from leg to leg. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to reapply some flux to help raise the temperature of the solder again. I want the solder to be all shiny silver. Uh, if you do not get it all shiny and silver so that the, you know, each leg actually is raised to the same temperature as the solder itself, then you will have a cold solder joint and that may not be good contact. So while this is just a, a rudimentary know how to solder you might want to go look stuff up and and uh, double check some of the other soldering stuff uh, I'm not the best solder in the world but um, so far I have never completely destroyed a chip I have been able to make every chip survive and I've been able to use it and, um, and I've seen some of the jobs that some of you other guys do out there so there's no room to, to complain especially this small of what we're working with so uh, and things are getting smaller than this. When I've worked on legs of memory chips and stuff, they've been much, much worse than this. So it's all about practice and still not as much about equipment. I've seen, I've seen a great solderer use really crappy equipment and still get it done. So just so you know, it is possible. I just go back around double checking everything it's always better when it works the first time around let's 
tips get ruined really, really quick. And, uh, you know, it's hard to keep them exactly straight. You're seeing a lot more in a microscope than it looks like when you're looking at it with your bare eye. All right, so, uh, so once I'm done with that, I also will apply some drop of alcohol to clean up. <clears throat> so I'm trying to use uh, pure, you know, as pure an alcohol as I can use for cleaning this chip off. And I'll rub the chip. with an electric swab. I suppose you could use a standard Q-tip. But I'm cleaning it up so that it looks really good. I get rid of any excess so I can see. So now, fundamentally, I am done. So now you can see I've re-soldered this board that if you look at the legs on the chip now, they look pretty dang good. So it looks like uh, I got all my connectors, chips lined up. The order is good. So now, I'm going to go put it on the drive. So I hope you guys practice this and try to do this. This will save you a lot of uh, money if you had to repair Western Digital. You cannot, um, you cannot just swap any board on a Western Digital. Um, and in many cases, the chip that you're looking for looks exactly like that chip. And it will be labeled uh, as a U12 or so. Okay.